Come on, everybody up there. Come on, whoever sees this video. It's, it's been a hard three years ever since. I threw a coat like when I was with a girl named Prince and High Miss. I loved her a lot. I gave my altar to find out that to find out that she she wanted to be with someone else and it sucked because yeah she was she was my first and everything but like to tell the whole world and everything. When I first saw her, I, I took two buses. I went to Clear Lake and I saw her. And I told myself, this is really the person I really want to be with. And when I saw her, and Just that one moment with that person. One moment when you first meet them. My my heart skipped a beat that day. It, yeah, it's hard to believe, but it is. There is real love out there. And now she's with she's with her ex. And I, I just wish and I wish I, I, I and I wish I could get it back doing any means possible. Because when you truly love someone, you don't just give up. You don't just move on. You fight, you fight, you fight, and you show them. Even though they're with somebody right now. Even though she's huddling up on somebody else. Is the, the, yeah, love does hurt, but you know, she, I, when I first met her, she was pregnant with a beautiful little girl. And when I first when I first got to see her, and I, I, when she first told me she was pregnant with her, I took her in. I took the baby in too. It was, it was kind of hard for me because I didn't think I was going to have a family this early. And I met someone that was already pregnant and she was going through stuff and she got kicked out. And I was like, am I ready? I told myself, am I ready? Am I ready? And when, like, this all happens, so, so quick for her leaving me and her like, like her doing what she did it, it hurts me a lot and I, I, I want I want people to see this video uh, my birthday was last night. My birthday was last night. I didn't I didn't even get to see my kids. Didn't get to be with the person I loved. Yeah, it hurts. I'm sitting here, I've been been staying up late nights wondering is there any way I could fix it? It's like, is there any way I could try, like, show her even more? Like, like, when I first brought her to my dad's house, she told me she was pregnant. She told me she, she was having, she was having a baby. She, she got pregnant by someone and they didn't want the baby. And she asked, oh, would you still be with me if I was pregnant? 
I told her yes. I told her yes. The bottom of my heart, I, I love you, and then I love that baby. That's even not. It's not mine. And uh, so, a couple months passed. My, my beautiful baby girl Sophie was born, and even though she wasn't mine, I got to hold her. I got to feel. I got. I got to feel how. How it was to hold a child for the first time. And when I got to <laughs> being with her and my daughter, it, it, it just brought out something out of me. I was like, oh, I need to, I have to show, I have to show her that I do care and everything. And, and that's what I did the first couple couple of year, the years that I was with her. I took care of my little daughter Sophie, and then she came up to me and asked me. She's like, she's like, she's like, do you want a kid of your own? And yes, my answer was yes, yeah, my own kid. And she gave me a, she gave me another daughter. And her, her her name was Adenise Bell Forest. She was. We didn't even wait that long. We had her. We ended up making her. And then, she was born on April eleventh. I will never forget that day. Because that's when my other little girl was born. And my first, yes, my first daughter was born on September 16th. And it's hard for me right now. And like seeing her with someone else. And she's having this kid. And it sucks. Is I love her. She gave me two beautiful girls. And when you truly love someone, you don't give up. That passion never goes away. <laughs> I never thought I'd be in this position. I never thought. I never thought that I had to be fighting for someone that I love, even though she's with somebody. I never thought that. I never thought that. Not seeing my daughters or. Or is basically see none of them because my birthday was last night, and I didn't get to see, I didn't get to see anybody. I didn't get to see any of my daughters or her, and it sucks a lot. And oh no, it's just something I want to tell the whole world. I love Carissa James. I always will love her, and. I just want this video to at least reach out to someone that might be going through the same situation with they're with that person and stuff. Don't give up. Don't give up on them. Never give up. If you truly love somebody, don't give up on them. At least I still truly love somebody. Jesus still with someone. And I'm, I'm still going to fight. I'm not going to stop fighting. Because I love her and my daughters. And yes, I did propose to her at one time, but we never truly got married. But we got engaged. But we were together for three years. Three years. That means so much to me. And just telling everybody out there, don't like, don't give up on on someone that you truly love. You you keep on fighting. You fight until you don't have nothing left. And if you don't have nothing left, just keep on going. Is I'm one of those people going through something and it, and it sucks being 24 years old and shit. I'll, I'll still keep on fighting for years. I'll never get that feeling again. 
and I'm, I'm, and I'm hoping to get her back, showing her that she is the love of my life. I don't want to wait five or ten years from now. I, I want to, I want to get married to her. I want to show her that she's a, a big part of my life, and have my daughters there for our wedding day. I want, I want her. I want to marry the person I truly love. And I just hope this video reaches out to the world and shows at least shows her show her and anybody else that's watching she, I do truly love her and I do thank her. I thank her a lot. And uh, I love you, Carissa. I love you, Addy. I love you, Sophie. Daddy's still here. Daddy's just fighting for mommy right now. And and fighting for y'all. And Daddy loves y'all a lot. Daddy loves y'all. Chris, I love you too. And hopefully y'all get to see the video at least. Or at least see it. Oh, see ya.